Live from Doff Easy Studios in Eddieville, Kentucky. It's time for another episode of Darth Easy's TV Recap. Tonight, Georgia goes through some Terran therapy. And we see the Slave One release the seismic bomb from Attack of the Clones. Probably the best day that ever came from Attack of the Clones. Your host, Darth Easy. Hello, Easy Nation. Welcome to another episode of Darth Easy's TV Recap. I hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year, which means, uh, you know, a lot of good things coming up. Um, I'm really trying to spend the next few weeks trying to watch some last few movies before I can do my top 10 movies. I don't know if me and Randy Cage are doing our top 10. We talked, I talked, I saw him a few weeks ago and we we're, I was still like, yeah, yeah, we'll, I'll definitely do a top 10. Don't know what these movies are going to be. It's going to be my worst top 10 of all time. There's no doubt behind that. But as Queen must set, as Queen said, the show must go on. That's a good idea of these for my uh, montage this year. Well, we'll see. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So let's talk about Star Trek Season 3, Episode 9, Terra Firma. So this episode, Giorgio, you know, she's falling apart. Her body is, her mind thing. And what we find out is the, the mix of going from a different parallel, from going from a different universe, plus the 900 time travel just completely destroyed her stability. But the, 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 the discovery with the mix of the data they acquired back in last season has a 5% chance of healing Giorgio and, and preparing her and giving her back to fight in shape. Also in this episode, we see some things going on, uh, with they're trying to decipher what we found out last episode and a little more clues about the burn. Really don't get much into it because once, uh, they go through, once she goes through the door, we're completely into this. And, uh, this is why the theme of the episode is called Terran Therapy. I thought it was a little interesting, uh, title, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I just, I like seeing the, I like seeing the Terran stuff again. That was my favorite part of the first season of Star Trek Discovery because I hated Star Trek Discovery first season. The first half of that season was awful. Absolutely horrendous. But then when they went to the Terran universe, I was like, this is kind of interesting now. And then, uh, I think ever since then, the show has gotten better. It's cool seeing evil George. It was good. It, it's cool just seeing e the evil versions of the characters. Well, I would, I guess they're I guess they're evil, but, you know, they're just not, they're not good people, and just see, it's interesting to see that character, characterize again, I really liked it, it felt very Roman to me, and that's always what I liked about the Terrans, um, yeah, and, and I also, I like, basically, she has to do something different, so, it, she kills Michael, like she did in the last time, she knows how this is going to play out, so she chooses a different outcome, and we'll see how the results in the next uh, episode because this is a part one episode part two will be out this week because you know this episode is behind because once again lazy <laughs> but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what how this episode as how this story this part of this end does Giorgio be able is her mind more restored or is she uh doomed to fail uh to die a, a warrior's uh death gonna be interested to see all right, let's move on to The Mandalorian, Season 2, Episode 7. Forgot what, look what the title was. Episode, basically, I liked how we see Mayfly. Uh, he is on the prison planet. And I really like the I like the guard. He says, you have three seconds to comply. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, that's awesome. Gotta love that. Uh, basically, they take him to try to get, so they can get the source code to find out where Moff Gideon's ship uh, is. And basically him and Mando have to disguise themselves as, I uh, guess they're stormtroopers. They're very different armor we saw. So I like that scene. And I love how in this episode we see, we see Mando basically, he has to forfeit the Mando, the Mandalorian code takes the helmet off and everything. And you're like, he'll do anything to get Grogu back. And, you know, we, we've been more and more accepting as, you know, in that first season or even this season, whenever 
he sees Bo Katan and he sees them take their helmets off and he finds out there is another way. There's not just one the way. There's multiple ways to be to be Mandalorian. So I really did enjoy a lot of that stuff. But then I, the the episode really surprised me with the, some of the character deaths because the the Mayfly character or Mayfield care May I believe his character's name was Mayfly. I only saw the episode once, but. I hated that was my least favorite episode of the first season. And it wasn't because of him, it was because of the Twi'let characters. They just for me felt like they were cartoons. And I thought uh he was probably a really strong cause you know in the episode the whole reason they pick him is because he was a he was a former Imperial Scout Trooper. And um it, it was cool to see where uh he disagreed with Operation Cinder, which was a which was in bow, was was in the Battlefront Two uh, storyline, and it was it was kind of it was kind of cool to see that where he disagreed with that, and that's one of the reasons he left the Empire and how good men died because of that, and the just general he just was disgusted. And you know him and Mando they get they get away, and when the Slave One flies away. And you see the TIE Fighters, and he le- unleashes the bombs. It's the same seismic bombs from, from Attack of the Clones. It makes the same noise in every day. I cheered so loud because there, there there's not many good moments from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. It is the second worst Star Wars movie. Thanks, Rise of Skywalker. Good way to go, J.J. Abrams. You made a worse mo- movie than Attack of the Clones. But Attack of the Clones had that really cool bombs that made the... Uh, I mean, it's just one of the coolest sound effects in uh, Star Wars history, and it was just such a callback moment, and it completely deserved it, because if you're going to have Boba Fett, you're going to have the Slave One, it has to make the same noise. So, yeah, awesome episode, I love at the ending where basically Mando calls Gideon, basically quotes his speech, says, he means more to me than you will ever realize. And I'm ready for this finale. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I am so looking forward to how this uh, season ends. Alright guys, that ends this episode of Darth Easy's TV Recap. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, I'll have another episode uh, next Sunday. So hopefully, as long as I watch my shows, probably tomorrow and or Saturday, we'll have another episode. So guys, until next time, all too easy. 